Welcome to News Channel 8, I'm Junior Garcia, and here are some of the stories we have for you tonight. St. Thomas Mann shot dead. Governor praises $841,000 grant and WAPA OK's funding for streetlights. These stories and more up next on News Channel 8. Channel 8 News is brought to you by R3D to help balance your quality of life, a blend of herbs and phytonutrients to help support joint health. Learn more at 1-800-655-6932. R3D. In tonight's top story, it was another violent weekend on St. Thomas that left a 21-year-old man shot to death in a housing community. VIPD spokeswoman Melody Raves has the details. Major crime detectives on St. Thomas are investigating the fatal shooting of 21-year-old Shaquille Purcell. Concerned citizens contacted the 911 emergency dispatch at about 10.13 p.m. on July 26th and reported shots fired in the Michael J. Kerwin Terrace housing community. When police arrived on the scene, officers found the unresponsive body of the victim seated in a chair at the rear of Building 8. Emergency medical technicians on the scene said the victim had no vital signs. Staff at the Schneider Regional Medical Center later pronounced the victim dead. The preliminary police investigation revealed that one or more assailants approached the victim and shot him several times. No suspects have been apprehended at this time, and detectives are investigating the case. Detectives are seeking the public's assistance in providing information regarding this case, and if you know something, please call the Major Crime Unit at 642-8449, Emergency 911, or you can call Crime Stoppers USVI with any information. In other news, the Virgin Islands Department of Planning and Natural Resources has been awarded a federal grant in the amount of $841,000 that will be used to preserve the territory's coastline. The award was met with praises from Governor John DeYoung Jr., who said with approximately 175 miles of shoreline, the protection and preservation of this natural resource must be carefully managed. I am pleased that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has begun acknowledge the importance of the Virgin Islands Coastal Management Program and awarded this grant to continue and enhance the efforts in this administration. Moving along, new street lights are coming to Christiansted. The Virgin Islands Water and Power Authority Board recently approved $340,000 contract to install bases as parts of Christensted Underground Streetlights project. As part of the Streetlight project, Zenon Construction will install concrete streetlight bases in downtown Christensted at total cost of $341,500. The installation will allow WAPA to remove 56 200 watt high pressure sodium lights and overhead secondary wires installed on wood poles in downtown Christiansted and replace the lights with decorative energy saving LED lights, according to the statement by the utility released Friday. Faith of Christ Ministries in Upper Love is in its second week of nightly revival services and invites the public to attend. Revival speaker Althea Burnett of Orlando visited Channel 8 studio and offered these details. Good evening, St. Croix. This is Prophetess Althea Burnett coming out of Orlando. I'm originally from the island of Antigua, and I'm here on St. Croix to do a mighty revival which started Sunday night. It's going to continue until the 1st of August. Every night, 7.30 nightly, I'm encouraging you to come out and receive a blessing. The theme for this revival is there is a sound of abundance of rain. The drought is over. I can assure you that the drought is over and God is getting ready to send rain, not only on the land, but rain in your lives, rain in your families, rain upon your finances, and God is about to do a new thing. The theme for Sunday night was... Let go and let God. On Monday night, the theme was, Behold, I do a new thing. 
And I prophesy to you tonight that God is about to do a new thing in your life. On Thursday night is going to be prophetic night. It's a night where God is going to allow me to release a prophetic word to individuals. That night might be your night for a breakthrough, your night for a blessing. Be there. I'm encouraging you to come out. I've been here before, and we've seen the power of God move in these meetings. We have seen the deaf hear. We've seen the lame walk. We have seen people getting jobs. We have seen financial situation turn around. We have seen um, God um, provide cars and opportunities for education for people. Doors were open and the power of God came mightily. And also the ministry anoints prayer cloths, prayer sheets, prayer shawls, oil, whatever you have. And you need the, the, the woman of God to pray on them. Bring what you have. Bring the sick, bring the lame, bring the blind, bring the halt. The power of God is real, and God is doing a new thing. So don't forget, it is Faith of Christ Ministries. A pastor is Pastor um, Freeston Athel, Faith of Christ Ministries on 4L Upper Love. It's 4L Upper Love right there in Frederickstead on the beautiful island of St. Croix. And as a matter of fact, I fall in love with your island. It's a very beautiful island. I've been here several times. So be there. 7.30 tonight, we're going to be there. And the rest of this week, no services on Saturdays. Sunday to Friday. Please come out. There's a blessing for you. Well, let's be sure to attend if you can. Stay tuned. We have more news right after this. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And welcome back to News Channel 8. And here is Cynthia Graham with your nightly Caribbean report. Thank you, Junior. A falling fireball in the sky last Thursday night caused a major stir among residents of St. Vincent, who saw the shocking scene unfold. Deputy Director of Grenadines Affairs, Herman Belmore, said he had received numerous reports that a flaming object was seen falling towards land at about 10.05 p.m., which many believed to have been an aircraft that crashed near one of the Grenadine Islands. Belmore said checks with police and the Coast Guard showed there were no reports of a missing aircraft. The Coast Guard later confirmed that the object was a meteorite, which is a solid piece of debris that originates in outer space and survives its impact with the Earth's surface. No one was injured. A group of top female executives from Brazil chose the Viceroy Anguilla as their resort of choice for a three-day leadership conference held earlier this month. The Anguilla Tourist Board sees the visit as an indication that its marketing efforts in Latin America are paying off. The group, Executive Women of Brazil, chartered two private jets to accommodate the 30 women who traveled to Anguilla to discuss various issues of women in leadership in Brazil, including work-life balance as well as other aspects of leadership. Anguilla Director of Tourism Mrs. Candice Niles said it was a significant milestone to host clients of that caliber and that the visit will, quote, certainly allow for future bookings. And finally tonight, international top model Petra Nemkova now calls Haiti home, a place that she says she's fallen in love with and a country that has a people who deserve opportunities and the capability to empower themselves. The 34-year-old Czech beauty whose Happy Hearts Foundation operates school projects in Haiti, is an ambassador at large and a friend of the country she has been visiting since 2007 during a visit with Haitian hip-hop superstar Wyclef John. As an ambassador at large for Haiti, I will continue to spread the good news around the world that Haiti is open for business and that things are improving, said Nemkova. This has been tonight's Caribbean Report. I'm Cynthia Graham. We'll be back here tomorrow to bring you more news and views from in and around the Caribbean. Junior, back to you. Thank you, Cynthia. 
youngsters and supporters of the Jesters volleyball team organized a fundraiser over the weekend to help finance the group's upcoming activities. Let's take a look. Good afternoon to the general public. My name is Desi Miranda, the vice president of the Jesters Volleyball Club. And we're out here today selling water, trying to raise some funds, because next year we're getting ready to send five teams away. Three teams will be going to Puerto Rico, one team will be going to Disney Showcase in uh, Orlando, Florida, and another team will be going to Atlanta. So come on out, help us here. We need some, we need some funds, we need some help in raising these funds for these kids. I'm Naomi Goodwin, the General Secretary. I'm the Deputy Chief of Police. Again, you know, my daughter also is a part of the, um, the teams. And I, of course, um, we always talk about support the youths. And uh, again, you know, from, you know, on behalf of the Virgin Islands Police Department and, of course, my, my daughter who is involved in the league. I'm out here every other Saturday um, supporting the youths. Um, I ask the general public to come out and support the youths by donating or buying a dollar or donating. It doesn't matter whether you um, buy the water or not as long as you come out and support us. And so I'm here out here and I'll be here every other Saturday doing this. Again, support the youths. It's very, very important. Our next date to be here will be August the 9th, and we're here from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, if you need to contact anyone for Jess Tours Volleyball Club, you could also contact me, Desiree Miranda, at 643-3408, or Lucille Hobson, who's the president, at 643-9076. We're going to also have a fun day in Estate Wim on August 23rd, is to raise some fun. It's also a back to school fun day. So come on out. We're looking for some government offices to come and bring the softball team, the volleyball team, and the basketball team. We're going to start about from 10 o'clock in the morning until we're going to have a DJ, um, a bouncy for the kids. We're going to have makeup for the kids and fun, 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 all day fun. This is a fundraiser for the Jesters Volleyball Club so that we can have, so that these children who play volleyball can travel. Instead of just staying here and playing volleyball, we want, want them to be able to travel outside of the Virgin Islands, just to experience it. Okay, we, start, we, have, we have a club that's going to start again in January from 5 years old to 16. So come on out and support the Jess Tours Volleyball Club. Outstanding. Let's get out there and support them. More news straight ahead. This newscast has been sponsored by Mario's Virgin Crystal. Let us save you the hassle of lugging those jugs around. Purified bottled water conveniently delivered to your home or office. Also available in your favorite grocery store. Call 773-2810. This is News Channel 8. This is News Channel 8. And finally tonight, a local organization is showing youngsters how to kick hard and run fast by teaching them the game of soccer. We've got the details in tonight's Sports 411 update. My name is Beverly Edney Lewis. We're here at Lorraine Village where we have Aggressive Soccer Club with their summer soccer league for the children of Lorraine Village. Here behind me we have the under five and the coach is Shlomo Williams and you can see the children have been given uniforms by STS Athletics. They're our co-sponsor in this program. We've been here for two weeks and this is our last day. Then we have here is the eight and under nine eight and nine year old. The coach is Shmuel Williams. He is on the on the 17 national team that's leaving for Guadeloupe on the 18th of August. In the far ground we have the under 12. Um, most of the players are young and inexperienced but they're all excited about what they're doing. Right now the coaches come at four. The young lady leading the drill is Lena Prosper from Dominica and we're hoping to get her in the Virgin Islands national team next year. And this is the first time we've had so many girls. We have many girls and they like it. I think they like the coach too because he is fun. I'm Shlomo Williams. I've been playing since I was five and I just wanted to help the children to learn more about soccer because I feel like everybody should play soccer. Everybody should know how it feels to play this beautiful game. It's fun. Everybody's smiling. Everybody's having fun. I've been on the national team. 
the Virgin Islands national team. I play, I play for Unique, the men's league team, and I played for Free Will. I played on the traveling team for St. Croix, and I played for Free Will Acra. We won this year, varsity. So I feel like I'm giving, like doing a little community service, giving it back, helping children to be able to play where I am today. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Lena Prosper. I'm 16 years old. Here in Lauren Village, I'm playing soccer with them children. I've been in soccer from since I was young in Dominica and came up here and continued. My name is Coach Lewis from uh, Ula Devera School. And we are here providing a summer program for the children for two weeks. And this is a positive experience. Build up their confidence, self-esteem, and also help them to stay out of trouble. And we thanks, say thanks to all the coaches who are helping out. Samba, Ali, Simba Bailey, Ali Bangut. Okay, and I want to thank my wife Beverly Edney Lewis for helping out, being the supervisor, manager, the whole organization here. Anyone can come to our our um, soccer program. However, we have it in Lorraine Village so that the children can just come right out of their homes and participate. When we had it, we've had it in the Park and Grove. And we didn't have this big of uh, a group. So we figured that if we brought it right home, that it would be an excellent plan. And it was. It's working. We have the cooperation of the Lorraine Village um, plant manager, the property manager. Um, maintenance have been great. The parents, today's the only day the parents haven't come out. The parents have been great. They come out every day to watch the children and to help us. Today's the last day of this two-week program. But we're going to have uh, two days a week until November. Um, we're going to finish it up on Sunday at the Caribbean Bash at the pool. We've been invited to run and enjoy the games. And so we have parents, the parents and the children from Lorraine Village will be at the pool on Sunday with STS Athletics and their Caribbean Bash. So come down and see our children. Sounds like these could be the next World Cup stars in training. Don't go anywhere. We have your weather coming up next. Your weather coming up next. Your weather. And here's a look at your local web. Tonight, there'll be mostly clear skies, scattered showers, and thunderstorms developing overnight with a low of 70 degrees. Tomorrow will be scattered thunderstorms in the morning with lots of sunshine later on in the day, a high around 82 degrees, and a 20% chance of rain. On Tuesday night, there'll be partial, partial cloudiness early on with scattered showers and thunderstorms later during the night, a low of 70 degrees. On Wednesday, expect some morning showers and thunderstorms during the day. It'll be a high of 82. Wednesday evening will be partly cloudy with a low around 72 and a 20% chance of rain. Plenty of sun on Thursday. It'll be a beautiful day with a high of 81 degrees. Thursday night will be uneventful, partly cloudy with a low of 72. While Friday during the day will be partly cloudy with a high of 83, the evening is going to bring p.m. showers and thunderstorms, so pack your umbrellas. This has been Alexis Barnes with your Channel 8 News Weather. Thank you very much for tuning in. That's all we have for news. Do not forget to like us on Facebook at WSVI CHA. And you can also follow us on Twitter at WSVI TV News. And be sure to subscribe to Channel 8 on your YouTube at WSVI-TV News Channel 8. Watch us on your computer. Plus, use the Free Dish Anywhere app to DVR us and see us anywhere in the world on your smartphone or tablet. I'm Junior Garcia, and World News is up next. Good night, Virgin Islands. Channel 8 News is brought to you by R3D to help balance your quality of life, a blend of herbs and phytonutrients to help support joint health. Learn more at 1-800-655-6932. R3D.